sounds bad, <laughs> but I actually left her there with some of my friends who she did not know to go race somebody in my car for a hundred bucks. Uh, what car was it? It was my silver STI. I had WRX. I ended up winning the race and Josh was with me there and I came back and picked her up. So about seven years ago, Austin came to Toyota to start working where I had been working. Everyone said that worked there said that her dad was high up there, kind of like the boss's daughter type thing. So no one ever talked to her. And then he started to come up to like the office and he'd be like saying a couple things. And finally he, I got a text message one night and it said, so when are we gonna go out? So I was texting her on Facebook Messenger and we kind of set up a date that way because we didn't want to be too, like, you know, interactive at work. I know on behalf of uh, Deanna and myself, we want to welcome everybody here for sharing this moment with Jillian and Austin. And we want to thank Austin for being a part of the family now. You know, I, I, I can't even think how many years has it been? Seven years. Holy smoke, seven years. Where did it go? Seeing everybody, seeing these guys up here, so thanks everybody for coming out and enjoying this evening. I hope everybody be safe going home, of course, but enjoy the evening and enjoy yourselves. So thanks again and congratulations. Yeah, I love you. He picked me up. We went to dinner. I had been talking about how I had never seen Rain Man and Pompilio's in Covington, they, it was filmed there, so he took me there. Then we left there and we went to um, get ice cream on the levee, and then we went to um, the game works place there, played games. After the date, he ended up dropping me off and I just kind of thought like, that's the best date that I had ever had. And then just ever since then, he's been so thoughtful and he thinks about, just put so much thought into everything. And then our proposal, he planned the whole thing. We went to New Orleans and... They have a penguin exhibit down there at the aquarium. So I did a little Google search and I contacted the aquarium and set up like a penguin exhibit. So we get there and she's thinking that, you know, we're just gonna go look at penguins. Austin. There's not a day that goes by that I'm not incredibly grateful for you. For as long as I can remember, there wasn't a time that Austin wasn't anything less than supportive of me. I love you, Austin, and I cannot thank you enough. And I can't think of a more perfect man to marry my sister. She and I lovingly call each other precious, and I wanted to do my part to make her day precious. Unfortunately, I can't do anything about the weather. Love is really a series of actions, more so than emotions. And if Jillian and Austin stay true to their principles in this passage, they will truly have a precious marriage. Forever seems like a long time, but nothing seems like a long time when I am with you. I was told that his aunt and uncle got us backstage passes as a present because it was around Christmas time. And so I went to the aquarium. I was seriously so clueless. I was back there, the penguins walking around with a ring and I didn't even know I was being proposed to. Like it was that good of a proposal. And they bring the penguin down and walk down the red carpet with a ring around its neck. I was just so excited the penguin was there. I didn't even, I was like taking pictures and um, Austin finally like had to poke me. And he, I turned around, he's like, will you marry me? I'm like, what? <laughs> and so, yeah, it was, it was awesome. Take my heart, take my hand. Take my heart and take my hand. Take my heart and take my hand again and again. Right. 
I can remember Austin always being by my side growing up. And then I remember him getting to the age where he became a man and wanted to travel down the road on his own. Please cherish every moment that you guys can by telling each other every morning and every night before you go to bed how much you love one another. If you do the simple things, the big things will work themselves out. You walked in like somebody planned it all. I feel right where I belong. At least all week, my heart is strong. So give me your word, and I'll give you all I got. I now formally pronounce Jillian and Austin as husband and wife. Austin, you may kiss your bride. Take my heart. One thing I remember most was one of the first times I met Jillian. We went up to Fillmore's and uh, Austin decided to uh, tell me to get in his car because we had to go do something real quick and we left Jillian at Fillmore's. And second date, by the way. Austin won, so it was cool. And Jillian still hung around to this day, so I guess it worked out. funny that you guys are here now and you literally left her on her second date. It was just like, hey, stay here. Josh, get in the car. Came back and got her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>